On May 18, 1980, Mount St. Helens went from the image on the left to the image on the right. Today, you're going to help me act it out. To help me, and to help you, is my friend, Gina. Gina's going to act this out, and I want you to act along. So go ahead, stand up. Make sure there's enough room for you to move around. And I want you to act along with Gina as I talk through what happened. So the first thing is we need to make the shape of Mount St. Helens before the eruption. Very symmetrical, cone-shaped mountain. Before the May 18th, 1980 eruption, there were a lot of earthquakes. On this picture, each one of those squiggles is an earthquake, and there are a lot of them. So start at your toes and up to your knees and up to your hips, up to your shoulders, shaking all around. Those earthquakes were happening because magma moving inside the volcano pressed the outside of the volcano out, creating a huge change in the shape of Mount St. Helens. It wasn't very symmetrical anymore. On the morning of May 18, 1980, there was a massive landslide, brought down a lot of material into the valley. This landslide released a ton of pressure, creating a huge explosion out to the north. After the explosion, Ash continued to rise up in a huge column up into the sky. This column went 15 miles up in the sky and then was blown to the east until it circled the entire world. And a week later, some of that ash landed back at Mount St. Helens. Not all the ash rose up into the sky. Some came down the side and there was these pyroclastic flows coming down the side of the mountain. All of this melted the snow and the glaciers, sending water down the riverways, creating mud flows, some flooding, and lahars down the rivers. All these things happened on May 18, 1980, changing the shape drastically of the mountain and the landscape. Thanks, Gina. Thank you all.